we've decided to explore the beautiful Toscana in Italy. So to start, we spent a whole day visiting Pisa and Lucca. And in this video, we want to show you how to make the best of your time there. We are here. I mean, it really, it really is leaning. When you, especially at this angle, like, the story behind it is that it just it was built on dodgy foundations because of how heavy it was because they used basically just heavy stone and it was built like nearly a thousand years ago at this point which is kind of ridiculous that it's been standing and leaning for nearly a thousand years huh which is why it's so very busy look at everybody here doing the pose <laughs> Now we are between just just hundreds of people taking pictures, posing against. We would never do that. All right. We came here uh, two days ago. Yeah. Uh, when we arrived here in the evening, uh, we got here like literally like around what 11 mm -hmm. p.m. So we came at 11 p.m. It was basically empty. So we got let's let's be honest, ridiculous poses with the with the leaning tower of Pisa. You got the sentiment of the pictures. Got some of some of the pictures here, and uh, yeah. Oh, so it's 18 euros to get to the top of the tower, right? Yeah. Which six euros to come. If you're going inside the tower, you're sort of paying to look at all of the interior design and stuff. Not really the views at the top because you're just not that high. And then it's six euros. Yeah. To go inside the uh, cathedral here and check out all this stuff again. It's just it's just a lot of history which like you can and probably does it's probably pretty inside in fact i'll find out if it's pretty inside and i'll say in this text um but it's not high it's just funny to look at so i think that will do for pisa um rest of the city we kind of drove through it's just really the whole city is built around tourists coming to visit here and if you've had this place that's been up since uh, like the 1100s like yeah that makes sense right it makes sense that the, it's like a tourist city before tourism was a thing because people would go and see it half a day i mean we did this in less than an hour because our airbnb was very close and we stayed here deliberately because it's close to other places that we can go to like cinque terre is where we went to in the previous video if you haven't seen that i'll put it in the information thing above i'm gonna go back get the car and we're gonna move on to luca We are in Luca right now and this is a funny thing I didn't know that it's like this is like a big wall around the whole city and then it's kind of the whole city is like inside this whole wall thing like mm -hmm. I don't know <laughs> I will find out now exactly how it is I'm very curious and I don't know I just I have no I had no idea it would be like this let's check it out yeah so you can only get into the city through the big walls there is one big gate that you can drive through we did not because it then it becomes expensive to park inside so we parked outside and are now walking these steps to walk on top of the wall i guess i have to walk over it not through it and then all of this inside is the city of luca So this is now the Chiesa di San Michel in Porro, which is beautiful. Jeez. This this video, this GoPro films in very high quality, but I don't think it's going to do this justice. This is absolute marvelous. There's detail on every single little column. This is very, very impressive. Right. 
steps of that church. Did you know? It's also um, basically as old as the, the Pisa Tower that we saw earlier. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. Do you know that? The ch no. church is also from the 1100s, so it's also cool. just as old. Yeah, lots of. Uh, it's very pretty Historic. outside. Inside it's like kind of very rustic. <laughs> the whole thing is, yeah. this whole city is like, uh, it's like Renaissance. It's like going back in time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, look at this. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look, walking through here. Makes me think, like, you'd be waking up 500 years ago, walking to the local village market. With dresses. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With <laughs> the big, like, robes and stuff. I feel like we're underdressed. I feel like we should be wearing robes and walking through here, you know? These shops are the only starting to give away that we're not in uh, the 11th century or yeah. 14th century. I want to leave this shopping area because like, it's just like, we don't want to buy nothing. <laughs> no. And to see more of the city, but it's pretty, everything here is very cool. This is Piazza del Anfiteatro. How cool. So I'm assuming this would have been a, just a big plaza back in the day. So everyone would just gather around. Now, I'm fit back, now I've got my feeling back of being in like a uh, 1400 city. Like this is the middle, you know, we come to meet. Other villages, someone will probably be getting beheaded there or something and we'd be in the crowd going, yeah, Kai's head off. You know what I mean? No? <laughs> no. Okay. So you know what I mean. So I did just Google it. This whole place used to be amphitheater. Let's see. Where people would be, again, gladiators and stuff would be in here. This whole place used to be an amphitheater. I know, I know. Yeah, like, not just people in the middle, like people be on the outside and then, and then fight to the death in the middle, you know? All right, so we've done a few hours of exploring here. Oh, hello. Uh, welcome exploring. And now we're going to do, what, one hour of exploring. Bye bye. bye. Yeah, we're going to get one of those, uh, what are you going to see? We're going to get one of those like car, not car. Like, yeah, family style bikes, and we're gonna, let's be honest, we know who's gonna be doing all the work. Ah, uh, DJ, it, it's Nicholas, <laughs> not. But we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get the uh, family bike, and because you can take them out on the wall and go like around the city. So that's what we're gonna try and do for this next hour. How much is the bike for four people? 18 per hour. 18 per hour. We'll do one hour. Yeah. Identification. Oh, let me see. You pay when you come back. Oh, okay. It's a little bit more difficult than I thought, but that's because someone isn't this pedaling. This person is not pedaling. <laughs> we're doing all right. This is a fantastic way to go around. There's loads of people running, but it's much better. And it's actually quite funny. Hello, <laughs> mate. Trabalhando muito. Uh, this is my original pizza. It's like four cheese, four cheese with tomato and rocket. And this is like mozzarella, gold flour, tomato, and basil. I guess. How is it? How is the pizza in Italy? Delicious. I got uh, calzone. This is my 
We've got to switch off from just getting pizza. It's a bit ridiculous. But yeah, calzone. Very good. What do you think, Is that good? Ooh. <laughs> End of the day. We've had a fantastic day on. Um, hope you enjoyed watching it and following us around. Um, definitely come here. I say definitely come here rather than yeah. uh, Pisa. This place is pretty cool. Yeah. Luca. And there's a lot you could do here, like a lot of different things. If Museums just and stuff. You can go museum if you can go. Yeah. Just whatever you want to go here is like it's cool to do this. And also, we could do in one day. I think this is a cool thing. You don't need to lose too much. Mm -hmm. You can just come for like yeah. a short trip one day and back. I think if you were going for here in this region for one day, so far, I'd rather go to Luca than than uh, than Pisa. Pisa yeah. You, get, you, don't get, you don't get the annoying picture, but you have a better time. Um, yeah, tomorrow we're heading off to another region in Tuscany, so uh, watch out for that video coming up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our video, <laughs> and if you would like to come to Tuscan or Pisa or whatever, and if you come, just put in the comments below <laughs> and hit, hit, the hit, hit the bum. bum. <laughs> hit the bum. Hit the bum. Hit the bum. Also subscribe if you want to follow us along, uh, and just say hi in the comments below. Look forward to seeing you there or in the next video.